In today's video, we present some of the strangest Nokia phones. If phones of today look like each other and have the same type of design, past phones were diverse, innovative, and why not, weird. The Nokia 7600 from 2004 was one of the strangest phones from Nokia. Its teardrop shape was bold, but due to the arrangement of the keys around the screen, it made it difficult to use with one hand. Nokia 6810 was the transformer phone that completely changed its shape due to the extensible keyboard. It could be completely rotated 90 degrees so you could write messages or emails more easily. Another Nokia phone with an unusual design is the 5510 model launched in 2001. It was created especially for music and multimedia, which at that time meant texting and calling. At the time, the QWERTY keyboard was a novelty, and MP3 playback allowed you to play music while writing text messages. However, the shape and size of the phone made it look strange and quite difficult to use. Another iconic but at the same time strange phone is the Nokia 3650 from 2003. It was then considered a business phone and was quite heavy because it had a large battery even though it was quite thin, but its rounded shape and circular keyboard made it look pretty weird. Launched in 2006, the Nokia N93 was a flip phone, but it twisted in different positions. It rotated in so many positions that it could act as a portable game console, camcorder, or desktop. Another strange element was the 3.12 megapixel camera which was located on the side of the phone facing outwards. Another model that makes its place on this list is the Nokia 7280 from 2005. Also called lipstick phone, the phone was strange both in form and functionality. The screen was extremely small and to navigate you had to use the wheel button. Also in the category of business phones from Nokia, the 8910i model was made of titanium. The design of the phone is apparently strange due to the fact that to use the keyboard you had to press two buttons to slide the phone up. Even though the phone was resistant to bumps and scratches due to the titanium, for those who lived in colder areas it was a real torment to hold an ice cube on your ear. The Nokia 3250 from 2005 was similar to the Rubik's Cube. Because it had a rotating half with a keyboard on one side and two cameras and dedicated music buttons on the other side. Nokia 7900 Prism was the model that had the design philosophy Prism from Nokia. The phone allowed users to change the color of the backlight of the keyboard with triangular buttons and the superior termination of the phone was clearly a disappointment for customers because it looks as if it was cut. After Nintendo launched the Game Boy Advance, Nokia was inspired by them and launched the gaming phone Engage. It had about the same shape, design, and layout of the buttons as Nintendo's handheld console. Even though the Game Boy Advance was successful, the Nokia phone was not so well received. The keys were uncomfortably positioned and during a call the phone had to be held on its side, which earned it the name Taco Phone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. See you in the next video.